Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. Um, the first thing I want to point out is that this tutorial is an update of one I published about two or three days ago about making your own GIMP brushes. And if you've already seen that tutorial, I would ask you to bear with this one because this goes into a lot more detail and will actually let you change the colour of your brushes, which is a problem that I had with the previous tutorial. Um, it's something I've only really learned to do myself. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, in the previous tutorial I looked at making your own GIMP brushes. Um, the reason I look at making your own GIMP brushes I should say is there are plenty of tutorials already on how to download your own brushes from DeviantArt and in fact um, these skater brushes here and these bugs when they're finished will be available um, at DeviantArt.com and I'll leave a, a link to them in the more information bar next to the video. But in the previous tutorial, the one I've already taken down now, um, I showed you how to make this kind of brush now the problem with this brush, the reason the tutorial needed updating was if I change the colour of the brush to say red and then click it, the brush itself, itself is still black you can't actually change the colour of that brush and originally I had these skater brushes and they had the same problem but um, if I just pick one of my skater brushes now um, what you'll be able to see is that they can actually change colour um, so whatever colour I pick it doesn't matter um, my skater brushes actually have that ability to change colour whereas my bugs don't. Um, so what we're going to look at today is making these brushes so that they can also change colour and if you've already seen the previous tutorial that I was talking about um, then this will particularly appeal to you because this will be something new that you know you need to remember to do when you're saving your brushes. Anyway that's enough waffle for the first bit. So what we're going to need first is an image that we want to make our brush out of. Now to make the brush, as you can see, um, we just need to make a black silhouette. So I've chosen this wasp, and what I'm going to do is just select the wasp, turn the whole thing black so it's a silhouette, and then we'll save that as the brush. So the first thing I need to do is to save, uh, is to select the wasp itself. Now because this has a pure white background, I'm just going to use the fuzzy select tool or the magic wand tool because all that will do is when I click in the white space um, it will select all of the white space so it really makes it easy to pick out that wasp um, then I'm going to hold down control and shift and I and what that will do as you can see down here is invert the selection so now instead of having the white space selected I've got the wasp selected um, I need to set my foreground color to black um, if I haven't done so already and then when I hold down control and comma what that will do is fill the selection with the foreground colour and in a previous vector art tutorial um, I went over doing that um, before um, the final thing we need to do for this first step of making the brush is just press control and C to copy the um, selection that we've got there onto the clipboard and then we can minimize that because we don't need it for the moment. Now we're going to open up a new image and it really doesn't matter what size it is. So we've got a new image and I'm just going to control and period that to fill it in white and then we're going to paste that previous selection onto this um, new image. So we can hold down control and V and that will paste that in and you'll see that um, what the GIMP actually does when you make a new image and you've already got something on your clipboard it will make it exactly the size of the thing that you've got on your clipboard so that's quite useful um, I'm just going to turn that floating selection into a new layer and then merge these down so if I go to layer and oh no, we'll just do it a quick way um, control and M and that will merge all layers <coughs> and what you can see that we've got there is the black silhouette of the wasp um, on a white background now these next two steps are very important and you need to make sure you do both of these um, we're going to go to image and mode and we want to set the mode of the picture to grayscale now you won't actually notice any difference when it's black and white but it is very important and you can't actually save your brush as a coloured brush if you don't take that step and something else you'll need to do just to make sure that it can be saved properly is to go to image and flatten image now with that particular image um, that probably would have been flat anyway really you want to make sure you do that if there is an alpha layer or a transparent layer 
but I just put that step in there just in case there are any problems and you can't save it. That's what you need to do. Make sure it's grayscale and make sure that it's flattened as an image. Okay, once we've got the brush as it is, um, we now need to save it. So we simply go to File and Save As. And we're going to call it, well first, you might as well save it in your GIMP directory. So in this case, mine is there. And I'm going to save it in my brushes folder. So you can see the brushes that I've made already. And I'm going to save it as bug, uh, what bug am I up to? Bug5. And then I'm going to save it as .gbr. GBR. When you save it as a GBR file, um, it will come up with another little window that says save as brush. Um, you should set your spacing to um, 100. Um, you don't really have to do that, but it just um, it helps. And then you can rename your brush again. So bug, um, what did I say, 6. And then we save it. And that should be everything that we need to do. So I'll just quickly close that down and open a new image. And fill that in white. Then what we're also going to need to do is just refresh our brushes here. And when I refresh my brush, you'll see that we get the wasp there. And if I get my paintbrush tool, I now have a wasp that I can paint wherever I like. And hopefully, if this has worked, should be able to change colour as well. Perfect. Um, so that's how you do it. Um, this is a slightly different method to the one I showed in the previous tutorial, um, but as I say, this one is much more thorough and will actually allow you to save it as a coloured brush as well, one that can change colour. Um, I hope you found that useful. I hope it hasn't been too repetitive from the previous video, anyone that saw that the first time. But um, as I say, this one was much more thorough. Anyway, I hope this has been useful. I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, I look forward to seeing all of your brushes uploaded to DeviantArt sometime in the near future. Thanks for watching.